Hi, it's Agnes, and I wanted to read you a little section out of the book, The Wisdom of Florence Scovel Shin. Find the thought which is your great oppressor. Find the kingpin. In the logging camps in the spring, the logs are set down the river in great numbers. Sometimes the logs become crossed and cause a jam. The men look for the log causing the jam and they call it the kingpin. Straighten it and the logs rush down the river again. So, maybe your kingpin is resentment, maybe it's anger, maybe it's fear, maybe it's unworthiness, maybe it's unloved, maybe it's feeling like you are never going to be healthy. So, this is the first day of January 2016. And I'd like to sort of say it's like Superman, how amazingly strong he is, and then it's kryptonite. So what is your kingpin? What is your kryptonite? What is the thing that brings you down to your knees in excruciating pain that you are unable to think clearly, you're unable to focus, and all the stuff that you read about manifesting, about the law of attraction, about Neville Goddard, using your imagination, it, it knocks out your capacity to, to help yourself. So, yeah, think about what your kingpin is. Usually it will be pretty obvious. And there's the story about Daniel in the lion's den where... The lions come to eat him when he's in the den and he turns his back on the lions and he focuses on God and he is saved because he turned his back on the problem. He turned his back on his greatest fear and this is the time to face your greatest nemesis, your kingpin or your kryptonite. The one that brings you down. So, I'm going to read you this to conclude. We must stop planning, plotting and scheming. And let infinite intelligence solve the problem in its very own way. God power is subtle, silent and irresistible. It levels mountains and fills in valleys and knows no defeat. Our part is to prepare for our blessings and follow and also ask for intuitive leads. We now give infinite intelligence right of way. So, like Daniel in the lion's den, turn your back on the problem. Pull all the emotional charge you have away from it. Focus on your inner God or your inner self and start to say whatever it is to counteract it so if you're afraid you know you, you use an I am statement if you are unhealthy you use an I am statement and if you have no money you use an I am statement I am wealthy or I am healthy and you counteract that thing you turn your back on it and you focus purely on where you want to go until the energy breaks. Now this is not for the faint hearted, it's not easy. But this is the beginning of the year. So let's cultivate a community of people combating and dissolving and dismantling their kingpin, their kryptonite or their nemesis and kick it out of the ballpark. <laughs> Lots of love. And please let me know how you go. Send me a message.